Um, so when we're going to go over a, a problem like this, one thing I want to talk to you guys about is our previous, um, previous congruence, one of the main things we talked about was angle. I'm sorry. One of the previous things we talked about was side, angle, side. Now remember, when we did side, angle, side of two triangles, Mark, the main important thing that I had to have was what? An included side. And if you guys remember in your notes for an included side, an included side is when you have an angle, I'm sorry, an included angle is when you have an angle in between two sides. So we could prove that these two triangles were congruent because they had angle, sorry, side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. Notice how the angle is in between the two sides. However, guys, if I did something like this, I want you guys to see these are no longer congruent by side, angle, side. Because now the angle is not between the two sides. Does everybody see that? OK? So when we're talking about an included side, that is a side in between two angles. So for side angle side and angle side angle, we have to make sure we have an included side. So we're going to talk about angle side angle. So now, if I have an angle here and an angle here, angle here and an angle here, Kevin, where does my side have to be that's going to be included? Right there. Do you guys see how that side is in between them? If you're going to prove congruence by angle side angle, you have to have an included side, meaning the side has to be between the two angles. OK? Um, and then after I get over that.